I'm Lumi, and this is my way of playing Huskar. I prefer going solo Huskar, either mid or safe lane, taking 1 in Inner Vitality, 2 in Flame Spears, and 2 in Berserker's Blood by level 5. My first major item will be Aghanim's Scepter, and afterwards I'll go for Veil of Discord, and then follow up with either a Dagon or Orchid depending on the enemy lineup. I used to really hate playing Huskar, since he's a one-dimensional hero. Enemies will be stunning you non-stop, and you're very dependent on your BKB charges. This way of playing Mage Huskar is very similar to playing a mid Lina. You walk into a fight and you blow one person up immediately. The big difference is that Life Break with Aghanim Scepter has a 4 second cooldown, so you'll be life breaking people one after another. The goal of your early game is to harass and farm up. Flame Spears is one of the strongest harassing orb there is, and you could take advantage of mid lane's high ground to compensate for your short attack range. Once you get Life Break, you could solo kill most mid heroes if you've been harassing well. Huskar as a hero is designed to be played at low health during fights, so be extremely careful what spells and stuns can kill you. If a support is providing any type of disables for you, you could kill just about anybody with power treads alone. After level 6, the skill build changes depending on the game. Most of the time I max Berserker's Blood and then max out Inner Vitality. With the buff in 6.84, Huskar could cast 2-3 Inner Vitalities for himself or for teammates during fights. Because he's relying more on his Aghanim Scepter to do most of the damage, I find it's okay to leave Flame Spears at level 2 while maxing out everything else. His skill build is very fluid, and since he levels up pretty quickly off of hero kills, don't worry if you're not following the skill build to the T. I start the game with Tangle, Salve, 2 GG Branches, and a Circlet. Depending on the hero I'm facing against, I pick up a Ring of Protection since Huskar's armor needs a bit of help. Then I go Boots, Belt of Giant Strength for Power Treads, and then finishing the Magic Wand. Most of the time I dislike upgrading to a full Magic Wand, but since Huskar fights at low HP a lot of time, Magic Wand gives you a ton of outplay ability, and the extra stats will help his armor values a bit. I open up with the Point Booster first, and then finishes the Aghanim Scepter as soon as I can. With Aghanims, your life break will take about 50% of their health away after factoring magic resistance. After Aghanims, I go for Helm of Iron Will and straight into a Veil of Discord. Veil lets Huskar life break for about 63% of their life factoring magic resistance, and since Flame Spirit deals magic damage, the enemy is dead after your ult and a couple of attacks. The nice thing about Veil is the armor it gives you, and that you're boosting your team's magic damage as well. Afterwards, I go either Dagon 5 or Orchid. Both essentially help you accomplish the goal of one-shotting someone. Dagon 5 is obviously much more effective in this, but against heroes like Storm or Puck that could evade your life break, Orchid Silence is crucial. Because you're instantly removing 65% of their health, Orchid Soul Burn amplified by Veil is gonna hurt a lot. I generally round out my item build by getting something that benefits the team, I get BKB or AC to tank more for the team, or Silver Edge or Heaven's Halberd to play as the anti-carry against the enemy team. Since this is a spell-based Huskar build, BKB will be a major problem in the mid-game. I generally aim for the supports in these cases and take them out of the fight immediately, and then go back to the carries once their BKB is down. No matter how stacked the carry is, Lifebreak could make short work of them. During team fights, I try to cast as many inner vitalities as I can get. The heal is really really good, especially when you throw it onto your cores when they're getting focused. You have a ton of mana to spam the spell so be extremely liberal with it. One final tip with Huskar is that you'll be at low HP a lot of the time. It will take a bit to learn when to run and when to stand your ground and fight. Good luck and have fun blowing people up. Thank you for watching our content. Relax Your Fine makes video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so if you haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely do so. Also, we're doing a compendium giveaway, so you should definitely check that out as well. Until then, this is Luminous, and we are signing off. GG guys.